let's see one more problem from linear differential equation with constant coefficient i hope you must have seen my lecture video on this uh, where i have discussed the rules for finding the complementary function and the particular integral so this is a uh, first we'll find the complementary function for that convert this first into d form so we know that this can be written as d2 minus 3d plus 2 operating on y equals to e power 2x plus e power x now convert it from d form to m form so that we can uh, get the auxiliary equation so m square minus 3m plus 2 and now equate it to 0 this is your auxiliary equation solve this so m square minus 2m minus m plus 2 equals to 0 m m minus 2 Minus one m minus two equals to zero. From here you are getting m minus two, m minus one equals to zero. I don't uh, uh, think that you must be doing all these steps. You have directly written the uh, roots m equals to two and m equals to one. So roots are real and distinct. So you know the complementary function can be written as c one e power m one x. Plus c two e power m two x. This is your complementary function. Now moving ahead with the particular integral, which will be one upon f of d, operating on R H S. So this is one upon d square minus three d plus two, operating on e power two x plus The same one upon d square minus three d plus two operating on e power x. Once you put two here, because we know the rule for e power x says that put a in place of d. So if you put two here, so four plus two six minus six, you will get zero. So what do we do in that case? Multiply by one x. And differentiate the denominator, so you will get two d minus three. If you put one here, so one plus two three, three minus three zero. So do the same with this also. Differentiate, so two d minus three. Now if you put two here, so four minus three one. So x by one is simply x. e power 2x first one is done second one if you put one here so 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 so you are getting x divided by minus 1 e power x finally i can write the particular integral as x e power 2x minus x e power x and my final solution as cf plus pi Cf was your c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power x plus your pi, which is your x e power 2x minus x e power x. So this is as smooth as it can be. Find the complementary function. Find the particular integral. Get your job done.